with the folks from Bethlehem Lights and brings us a lot of really awesome uh, seasonal home decor items. Uh, this one I, I saw and I immediately thought of Pat who has geese, outdoor yes. geese that are frozen in her backyard. She can't get them out of the no. ground. <laughs> she put a picture on Facebook. They're still dressed in their um, Christmas outfits. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Um, but this one is one that is designed um, the duck luminary. Um, with more of a spring kind of a feel to it. Yes. And I think they're so beautiful for your garden. Um, it comes in your choice of the blue, the red, which is really burgundy, and that's what we're calling it, burgundy, I apologize. And then we also have it in the green that Rachel's holding. These yeah. are so pretty. Aren't they fun? I just love these because, again, they're battery operated. You can see that wonderful luminary that's on the inside and these beautiful cutouts. So then when the lights are down, wherever you have it, it kind of casts a fun yeah. shadow, but they're, they give that upscale feel, feel too. I'm gonna just turn around this way so you can kind of see. There's that face and you can see the beautiful opening of her little duck bill mm -hmm. just really very sweet well this is like all quacker factory ish isn't yeah, it wouldn't that's that be right. great <laughs> i love it um the other thing to know is that this one actually has a timer built in a four or eight hour timer so when you set it when you get this home you can leave it and it's going to come on automatically um at uh, the same time every day we do love that um, it uses two C batteries and they are not included, so you will need to go ahead and get them. The candle is permanently attached, is that correct? That is correct. So you don't have to worry about changing that either. Right, mm -hmm. and it has such a great shape to her too. I like her little tail feathers that you can see sticking up. There's that nice bow. What's so great about this one too is that the color is neutral. We did it in that sand texture and you can see the brush strokes on it. So it looks like it's actually carved out of wood. It's made of resin, mm -hmm. but it has the look of a wood it carving. Mm -hmm. And you can see the brush like strokes there. Like a beach there. wood almost. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I love all the detail on the bow, the cutouts. It's just so well done. Such a nice finished piece. And think of all the places that you can put it. Mm -hmm. Be great on a kitchen windowsill or in a curio cabinet yeah. or or in your kitchen, maybe just on the island or in the center as a table. Oh, here you're seeing it on a sideboard with just a little bit of garland. Very easy piece to add. And it has that springtime feel that we're all wanting in our homes right now. I like taking pieces like that and just putting it on a floor next to a night, uh, little table or you yes. know something like that. Just something unexpected and, and random. Um, we are still busy on the phone. So if you wouldn't mind, place your order with Q uh, QVC's automated ordering number. That's 1-800-345-1212. Um, don't hang up. We'll get to you as quickly as we can. But you're saving about $6 off the regular QVC price on this one today with that clearance price. Just so you know, the green that Rachel is holding is the most limited of the three colors now. So green, there's your blue, that bright, um, almost a Williamsburg blue color. Yeah, or like a periwinkle. Periwinkle, and then we have the burgundy. So again, a lot of folks use burgundy home accents, leathers for their furniture and yeah, chairs. Exactly. That's a wonderful way to tie that in. It has like um, a cranberry feel cranberry, to it too. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. pretty. Um, the color of the year in fashion, or the Pantone color of the year, mm -hmm. of course, is Marsala, which is a like burgundy a wine, yeah. wine color. So um, it really does work so well in home decor, as does the sage, and of course, always the classic Williamsburg blue. H202264, it's about nine and three quarter inches high, about nine inches wide, so it would have to be a pretty fat or wide mantle for mm -hmm. it to work on, but we could certainly put it on our mantle, and as a matter of fact, we did. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. about six inches deep, if you were looking for deep the- this way. Yes, okay. for that uh -huh. dimension, for if you wanted to put it on a mantle or on a windowsill, it would have to be a bigger spot. I love ducks and geese and things like that in my kitchen too. So I think that this would be really nice, maybe in that dark corner under the cabinet, or also I like to decorate on top of the cabinets, mm, on top yeah. of curios, mm -hmm. and it's nice to just put something up there, maybe with, um, well, you know, another piece or two, a plant mm -hmm. or something like that. There's our duck on the mantle. Last call in that green, by the way. There's only about two, three hundred, you say? Three hundred to go around on that. Uh, Nineteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. If you know someone who collects mallard, uh, yes. what are they? Uh, the the metal wood, ones. Um, in yeah, the, the wood decoys. and the metal, yes, yeah. the decoy, uh -huh. yes. My husband has one in his office, actually, and it's metal. Yeah. So I know what you're, you're talking about. And, you know, I feel like she kind of has a little bit of a feminine feel to her with the bow, but really could go either way. And 
the bow just really, the way that that adds that pop of color, but the neutral sand would go with any decor. Well, it's just ducky as far as we're concerned, especially <laughs> with that clearance price of $19.97, over 1,300 of these spoken for, um, and just put them everywhere in your home, and it brings the whimsy and the charm and the character that we love. You know, when, when we first introduced the um, figural luminaries. That yes. was what the rooster, I think, that was yes. crazy, crazy popular. Exactly. So this is kind of a spin-off of that mm -hmm. and another really, really good um, figural to put in your home. I exactly. love the duck. Yeah, me too. And I think it's so nice too that it has a touch of whimsy, but it can also have that upscale feel mm -hmm. too, depending on your decor. It can kind of fit in and match either way. Yeah. Especially, like you said, for those duck collectors, ducks and geese and one of my favorite apparel stores to go and look at the windows at, um, they do a lot of figurals. Do you know which one I'm talking about? They had a huge bird in the window yeah. just recently. Unbelievable Neat. look. And it's just the kind of thing that you, you look at it and you don't think it, there's anything too kitschy about it. It right. just works. It, it's about embracing your um, love for things that are a little bit different. And I think this duck is, is right in that uh, genre. Yeah. The bonus is, it comes with the flameless candle. Yes. So you also get the ambiance of a true luminary without the work. So blue, burgundy, and also the green, H202264 is the item number. Miss Rachel, thank you so Great much. Great to Good see you. See thank you, you, Jane.